dia diagram editor is a flow chart maker and this software is open source and free to use and one advantage of using dia diagram editor is that you can write math expressions within your flow chart blocks and i will show you a few examples i recently created a course on control systems engineering and i only used this flow chart maker and i have made another video about dia which i will put a link at the end of this video and that is a getting started tutorial but in this video i am going to show you how you can write greek symbols or math expressions in dia because many people find it difficult to write math expressions and this is because dia uses unicode and for scientific flow charts in my opinion this is the best flow chart maker where you don't have to pay anything and normally flow chart makers are very expensive but let us have a look at how much you can do in this dia and now i have moved myself uh, towards right and i want to show you how rich is dia in features so if i click on this area and you will see a long list of types of flow charts which you can create in this flow chart maker you can create cisco networking charts you can create ladder diagrams logic diagrams and also uml diagrams which you might not be able to see because it is going outside the scope of my screen but you can create uml diagrams as well so there are thousands of symbols and flow chart building blocks which you can use in dia because the focus of this video is how to write math expressions in flow charts so let's get started after a short break Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and if this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. So first let me show you a few examples. You can create these types of flow charts in dia and as you can see that sometimes you have to write these greek symbols in your flow charts and it would be better if you could write these symbols directly inside the same application. and this is what i am going to show you in a minute this is another example and in this as you can see that i am using a symbol here minus plus and plus minus which is not on the keyboard and i will show you how to draw this by using unicode in your dia diagram editor and here is another example in which you might have to write some math expressions where there are some superscripts and possibly subscripts these kind of things and now let us see how we can draw these math expressions inside our flow charts and let us say i want to write some math expression inside this box to do that i click on this text and then i click inside this box anywhere let us assume that i have to write s cube plus s square minus s is equal to 0 and at this point there is no direct way to write s square dia diagram editor uses unicode and in this pdf i have created a list of some useful unicode characters which you can use for typing math expressions in this flow chart maker now here as you can see that if i want to put a superscript 3 i will be using this unicode character and the way i use this is let me go back and i type s and this character is u plus 00b3 if you remember this now i go back here and i type s and then for u i have to press shift and control and then type u control shift u and when u appears here i release control and shift and now i type 00b3 and the next action is i press enter and as soon as i press enter it will be printed as a superscript 3 now i have to type plus s and a square for a square superscript is 2 and it is 00 b2 so i will press control and shift and type u then i release control and shift and type 00 b2 and press enter now it will appear as s square 
then I can type minus 5 s equals 0 simple. So, this is how you type math expressions in DR diagram editor and this is very useful when you are creating scientific flow charts. Now, I can move this if I want and make sure that you have selected this arrow because this is text when you type and this is the selection and if I double click on this I can change the font I can change the color there are few fonts available you can change the font size let us say I type 40 so it will enlarge similarly you can change color and other things. Now if you look at this chart in a similar manner you can type all Greek characters but in Unicode for every superscript you have a different Unicode but you can type almost anything as you can see you can type arrows you can type angle sign you can have infinite sign or proportion sign and almost anything there are thousands of Unicode characters I have compiled only those which are useful for math teachers for engineering graduates who are making flowcharts for their assignments but if you simply type Unicode in Google you will find all the Unicode characters for all symbols and everything and now if you are new to DIA you should watch my first video this is the second video now this is the link of my first video which you are looking at right now and click on this and you will be directed to my first tutorial on DIA diagram editor which will help you get started. So, I hope that by watching these two videos you will be able to use DIA. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.